What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Hi, me and Fuego here. Here to do another trailer reaction, I think rounding out our Netflix block here. Maybe. Um, this is Godzilla Planet Eater, which is the third animated Godzilla movie. They released the first one and then the second one, and both were really boring with very little Godzilla action. I didn't so watch either of them. They I'm hoping just kinda, eh. this is actually going to correct those issues, but we'll see. So. Uh, uh, let's jump into it. <clears throat> Godzilla the Planet Eater in 3, 2, 1, go. Vegeta, Godzilla, you Yes! Oh, it's gonna be no, no subtitles, just like the previous no one subtitles. we watched. Huh. How much can we look? I do, I must say, I really right, So like basically, there was a Godzilla in the first one, but it was a small Godzilla, and they destroyed it, but then the real Godzilla that's now the size of, like, two mountains stood up, and they're like, oh, God, how are we ever gonna... Because basically... The it humans have been exiled monsters? from Earth. It was a planet of other monsters? <clears throat> well, no, the humans have been exiled by Earth, uh, from Earth because of Godzilla. And so this series is them trying to come and take Earth back from Godzilla. Mm. <clears throat> but it didn't work out. But apparently they're getting King Ghidorah in this one. So they're going to bring monsters to fight Godzilla to take Earth back. I like the song. <laughs> So it's like reverse. They're gonna enlist monsters to help take Earth back from Godzilla now. The animation is really awesome. Yeah, the animation is cool. Kind of say that. It is really cool animation, but it's just so sparse with the Godzilla. Yeah. It makes you bummed out. Yeah, Mahalo is like, Godzilla is his jam. It's like his favorite movie series, favorite monster. Makes me wonder if he's watched these. Did he Ooh. watch Gamera? Because I'm wanting to review those Gamera movies. I'm not sure if he has or not. They're yeah. great. Yeah, it looks okay. It yeah, looks like, like it's going to be pretty. Visually, and I, I mean, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing there. Okay, so limited theatrical run, and then it's going to be popping up, presumably, on Netflix yeah. afterwards. Okay. Um... Yeah, the, I honestly, I don't even know if I'd finish the second one because it's it's just so boring. It's so much human, and when you get Godzilla, he moves so slow because he's the side of size of a mountain now. Mm. So there's like it, even the kinetic parts of the movie feel really not moving at all. Like it's mm. crazy. Yeah, I can understand. It. I mean, sometimes with like foreign stuff, when it's like particularly drama based and uh, you're not getting as much of the creature action especially with a series like this that you that you want and and reading the subtitles and just going through melodrama that may be just moderately crafted already anyway in and fairness that's... though it is the third act of a three-part series mm -hmm. so is this presumably the last one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but that one would assume that that means it's going to be the most action-packed part of it because it's the whole final fight and everything. I feel like this Godzilla kind of resembles like a mix between the one that we've seen in the '90s movie and then the one that's in the yeah, brand new Gareth, Gareth Edwards one. So I, I don't bit. know. That's a little weird to me. It's it's an interesting blending of both 3D and uh, and the cell cell shaded 2D and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but. Uh, but it doesn't particularly tickle your fancy? No, not not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big... As much as I love creatures and stuff like that, God, and I watched Power Rangers growing up and things of that nature, I never really got super, super into you know, the whole Godzilla multiverse. I mean, I watched Godzilla 85 with Perry Mason as a kid. I like and, that one. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, and I'm definitely... I, I, I'm, I'm more pumped for these new american versions that they're doing you know mm -hmm. the godzilla kong crossover and godzilla king of the monsters i'm especially excited about with uh, the trailer that we saw at comic-con which looks so badass and mm -hmm. i don't know perhaps i'm being a little too harsh uh i don't know awesome looking animation maybe i'll take some time to try to watch them just you know do a little trilogy don't three, bust your hump is what i'm saying kind of kind of crazy don't bust guess, your hump. But... <laughs> well, why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below how does this look to you have you watched either of the other two that are currently available on netflix or will you based on this the art is beautiful i will contend that yeah it is very, gorgeous very animation but it's yeah. just so slow the story is done so slow mm. yeah so let me know what you think of it until next time i've been cecil laird gracias i've been jaime and fuego and remember Stay scared.